Also, only on 10, we're seeing new video of a brutal 10-minute hotel beating. And that attack happened over the summer, but the victims are still recovering, and we do want to warn you tonight. This video is really hard to watch. Let's go to Local 10's Rush Low Live now in Northwest Miami-Dade with this exclusive report. Rush. Calvin, the victim in this case wants you to see this video because it truly shows the brutality of what she went through and what she went through should never be forgotten. And I do want to warn everybody once again, this video is difficult to watch. This is new video just released of a vicious attack of a woman in her 60s at the Roadway Inn in Northwest Miami-Dade. It happened in broad daylight. The video takes you from the beginning to the end of a beating and sexual assault. It is 10 minutes of horror. It's a 10 minute attack, a brutal 10 minutes of um, physical and sexual assault. The video is disturbing. You can see the woman dragged and then look how she is beaten time and time again. One of the worst attacks we've ever seen. Trayvon Smith arrested for the vicious attack on this tourist back in July. Attorney Justin Shapiro is suing the roadway in and represents the victim who is still in emotional distress. She is medicated. She is under the care of a neurologist for brain injury. When the story first broke in July, Shapiro was able to get footage of the victim being dragged, but now there is the video of the entire attack. Tough to watch, but tells this devastating story. The suspect is eventually tasered by Miami-Dade police. The victim taken to the hospital. To this day, she struggles with the emotional horror of what she went through. We've seen attacks almost everywhere under almost any circumstance, but for a 10 minute attack in the middle of a hallway, which is covered by surveillance video, unheard of. Roadway Inn is not commenting, but once again, I want everyone to think about this. This was 10 minutes uninterrupted of a beating. If you would like to help out this woman and her family, go to our website, local10.com. They have a GoFundMe that has been set up to help her. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. So disturbing.